Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you may be watching this clip, you're welcome. Hope you're keeping safe and well. I pray that you, as you listen to this short clip, you will let the blind leaders be. Leave them alone, Jesus is saying to you today. The title of my message today is, Who is leading you? It's taken from the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 14. Please do read the whole text. That is from Matthew 15, verses 1 to 20. But I'll be focusing on verse 14 of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 14. So I'll read, Let them alone. They are blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind leads the blind, both will fall into the ditch. The Pharisees were offended by the sayings of Jesus. They were outraged by the words of our Saviour. Jesus was not surprised that they were offended because man values tradition so highly above the truth of the gospel, so highly above the truth of the word of God. The warning here is that man's religion, man's tradition, man's teaching will not last if they are not rooted in the word of God. Anything that's not rooted in this truth of the word of God will not last. The blind leaders is, a blind leader is anyone teaching outside the truth of this book. And they will all perish with their followers. According to the text, both will be thrown into the lake of fire. On the day of judgment, which is coming very soon, you will not blame your leader. Nor will you be excused if you turn a blind eye to the truth of the word of God. The book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 16 says, For the leaders of these people cause them to err, and those who are led by them are destroyed. Because we have the gospel, it is our duty to search the scriptures for ourselves, so that we are not led away by blind leaders. Forget how rich they are, what status they have. You are the son of a king. You are the daughter of a king. You are a prince. You are a princess. You are bought with a price. And his name is Jesus. Do not let anyone to lead you to the ditch by false teaching and false tradition. Jesus warns that if we fall into the ditch, we will be separated from him. This ditch is no ordinary ditch. This ditch is hell. Is an everlasting place of darkness, completely separated from God. Do not allow any man or any tradition or any false teaching to trap you. Wake up, Jesus is saying. Let them be. Leave them alone. Don't wait another day because we don't know what tomorrow brings. If you are born again, please continue to search the scriptures. Improve on your intimacy with God. If you're far away from God, you're leaving yourself vulnerable to the deceit of man, to the ways of this world. Come back, Jesus is saying. Come back to me. Come, let us reason together. He wants to hear your heartbeat. Do some research if you're not yet born again. Don't listen to false leaders. Take time out. Seek God for yourself. After all, he created you. He created you for a relationship with him. You're wondering, how do I ask God, Caroline? Good question. The good news is, you know what? <laughs> Jesus is closer to you than you think. He is right now next to you. You don't have to go searching for him on any mountain, in any church, in any tabernacle. You don't need to do that. He's right here, right next to you. And all you have to do is say to him, come into my heart. Jesus, come into my heart and be my Lord and Savior. As simple as that. Because Jesus is warning us that someone or anyone who may be with all intentions teaching us the old traditions, the old ways of living, he's saying it's wrong, that we need to walk away from them, that we need to turn away. And Jesus is saying anything that's outside this truth is taking us away from him. And that we're in danger of falling into the ditch. We're in danger of being separated from him. False teaching and man's efforts will fail. 
With great sadness, it will take many down. And many are going down with false teaching. Many are going to hell. Many are trooping to hell, even as I speak. But Jesus is calling you out today. He's saying, wake up. Wake up. Let the false teachers be. Don't walk into the ditch blindly following someone. He's a God that's personable. He's a God who wants to relate with you. He's a God who is calling you to himself. I hate the sad end. That many will be thrown into the ditch. The only way to avoid being led by a blind leader is to study the scriptures. Daily, study the scriptures. Secondly, Jesus is saying, leave them alone. It's time you walked away from anything that does not stand for truth of the word of God. It's time you manned up or womaned up, stood up and said no, and ran after your God. Do you know, a false doctrine is any teaching which opposes the fundamental truth which is necessary for our salvation. A false teaching is anything that teaches us against the truth of God, that denies Christ, that denies the truth that Jesus came, he died for us all. Any teaching that denies that Jesus Christ is Lord of our life is false. The Lord is saying, wake up, wake up. Wake up to the deception around you and do not be deceived. Heed the voice of the only person who died for you and his name is Jesus. On judgment day, as I said earlier, there'll be no excuse. Wake up. Wake up, sons and daughters of the Most High God. Wake up. Amen? I hope you've been blessed by this short message. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I know I am a sinner. I'm sorry for my sins. Please forgive me. I believe that you died and rose again. This very moment, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. If you say that prayer and you meant with all your heart, believe me, you are born again. And when you do make a mistake, do not run away from him. Don't run from God. Turn to him. Turn to him and ask for forgiveness. Turn to him. May you be blessed to be a blessing to those around you. Please feel free to share this clip and I trust that the Lord will touch others as you've been blessed by it today. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.